Welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sanai Jaz Khan. And today uh, we're going to discuss a very, very important topic, which is surgically very, very important. And that's about the breast diseases. So uh, I have planned to uh, basically divide this uh, huge, uh, you know, a big topic into three different sections. And we're going to talk about uh, section one. It includes a uh, breast examination. Section two is about the breast diseases, the symptoms. And section three is about malignant and the B9 proliferation, which is happening in the breast tissue. So uh, just talking about the uh, section one. That was regarding the breast examination. We're going to talk about a little bit about the anatomy and the physiology and the composition of the breast tissue. And then we're going to talk about the medical history, like how a patient is presenting to you, what you need to ask from the patient regarding, the, particularly regarding the symptoms, the onset, the severity, the duration, and associated features. And then we're going to talk about the examination, what you're going to look into the patient clinically, what you're going to assess when you're actually doing the inspection or palpation in a patient who's presenting to you with the uh, breast uh, disease. And then we're going to talk about investigation. So this was all about the section one. In section two, we're going to talk about the breast disease symptoms, like how the patient is actually presenting to you. There can be a palpable mass, there can be a mastalgia, or there can be a nipple discharge. A, a patient may present to you with all these three symptoms, or the patient may present to you with one of these symptoms. Now, you, you need to uh, take a detailed history from the patient to, uh, to, uh, to know about the association, the symptoms, you know, the relationship, and you have to correlate all these with the clinical examination of the patient. And then we're going to talk about the different types of the diseases which are actually happening in the patient. That can be a benign etiology, that can be a malignant etiology, or they can be uh, the infective etiology. We have some proliferative uh, diseases, we have non-proliferative, and then we have proliferated with atapia or proliferated without atapia. Then we're going to talk about the lobular carcinoma in situ, we're going to talk about the, um, the ductal carcinoma in situ, and then we're going to talk about the invasive breast breast cancer. So uh, this was all about the sections. Uh, keep watching scardia.com for the detailed lecture.